we're going to construct a rational function that will have the graph that we're looking at here. And the most important thing to remember about rational functions, they are a fraction of polynomials, and in the numerator are your x-intercepts, and your denominator is your vertical asymptotes. So let's go ahead and write down the uh, x-intercepts first. So we have this function has exactly one right there. I'm going to switch to blue so I can draw on top of this graph. So we have one x-intercept, uh, x equals two. That corresponds to the factor x minus two. Now we have to decide, is this crossing or bouncing? And if we look at this, it went from negative back to negative. So this is going to be a bounce. What a cross x-intercept would have looked like it would have gone from negative to positive or it would have gone from positive to negative. This one started out negative and stayed negative. So this is going to be a bounce intercept, which means our multiplicity is even. And most likely that means it's, the power is going to be 2. However, it could be 4 or 6 or 8. Uh, but we're going to see very soon when we look at the end behavior what goes in there. So inside that box is going to be an even number. So just keep that in mind. There's only one x-intercept here. Uh, vertical asymptotes, there's 2. And the first is x equals negative 3. That corresponds to the factor x plus 3. This vertical asymptote crosses because it leaves going up and comes back on the other side. So that's going to be a cross, which means odd multiplicity. So whatever power we put in there needs to be odd. Most likely it's going to be a first power. It's possible it could be a third power, but you're usually going to use the smallest odd number. And for the other one, you'd use the smallest even number. Um, you don't use zero because zero is like not having it. So the smallest positive even number would be two. Last up, we got one more vertical asymptote here, and it's going to be x equals four. And that corresponds to the factor x minus 4. Now this vertical asymptote uh, goes down on both sides, which I call this a bouncing off negative infinity or bouncing off the floor. And what that means is even multiplicity. So we're ready to construct our rational function. We leave the letter A out front. This is a numerical factor we'll figure out. Uh, X-intercept, there was a single X-intercept, X minus two. I'm going to default to the smallest uh, even power right there. So that multiplicity is even, that multiplicity is odd. So in the denominator is our x plus 3, and this needs an even power, so we're going to default, nope, needs an odd power. So I could write a 1 there, but we typically don't write first powers because they don't do anything. Uh, the x minus 4, however, does need an even power. We're going to go with 2 here. Okay, let's look at the uh, y-intercept. Now, everything else we got from the graph, the y-intercept is hard to see on the graph right there. Uh, so this problem has it written right here, 0, comma, negative 0.2. Yes. All right, so that means when we plug in 0 to the r function, uh, what we're going to get is negative 0.2. And on the right side, what we get, let's space that out a little more. Oh, come on. Negative 0.2 equals, okay. So now I'm going to use the function, just put in zero, the three places that I see x. 
So 0 minus 2 is just minus 2 squared. Uh, this is 0 plus 3, which is 3. 0 minus 4 is minus 4, and that's squared. Okay, so we can uh, reduce this a little bit. Negative 2 squared is positive 4. It's going to cancel one of those 4s. But we'll just write out all the numbers here. 3 times 16. So the 4 cancels the 16 down to a 4. So we have 1 12th. 3 times 4 is 12. Uh, 2 tenths, I can write as 2 tenths. And so A, multiply both sides by 12. And we have 12 times 2 over 10, negative. Uh, we can reduce this a little bit. 2 cancels 10 down to a 5, so we have 12 fifths equals A. And we're just going to take that negative 12 fifths. Oh, come on, negative 12 fifths. Just rewriting this with the A value. You can check the end behavior. We have x squared. We have x squared on the top because the minus 2 doesn't matter. x times x squared on the denominator, negative 12 fifths. And because your denominator has more x's in it, uh, you get flat. That's a pretty bad cloud. You get flat end behavior, y equals 0. Uh, so that does correspond to the end behavior. If I drew it out more, it gets flat on both sides with y equals 0 as your horizontal asymptote. Okay, so let's go ahead and see our numerator here, x minus 2 squared. That's great. That's what we got. This is our answer. Uh, we got two factors, x plus 3, x minus 4, and that x minus 4 is squared. Now our leading coefficient it says negative 2.4. Uh, 12 fifths, if you turn it into a decimal, uh, you could just divide it on a calculator, uh, but we would get 10 fifths plus 2 fifths. 10 fifths, I broke that out because it's 2. 2 fifths is 4 tenths uh, or 2.4. So that is the right number in the front, and it should be negative as we got. Okay, so I hope this helped you turn a graph into a rational function.